We're not kidding around. We got a show for you folks tonight. This is the kind of show you're going to be talking about for years, even weeks to come. And as always, every Thursday, we uh, considerately answer our viewer mail from all of the fine folks who make this wonderful program such a huge success. And, and uh, let's get right to it. Actual letters. You know, these are real letters. We don't make these up. These are actual letters. <laughs> Letter number one. Dear Dave, I have just become one of the directors of a summer sleepaway camp in the Catskills. My idea is the following. Since you often travel to different locations to do some of your comedic material and sketches, I'd like for you to consider coming to us and perhaps doing something for your show, such as David Goes to Summer Camp. Sincerely, Kevin Bucatman, Camp Roosevelt, Monticello, New York. Gee, Kevin, you know, this is a, a, a very generous offer, but I'm, I'm afraid because of time, uh, budget, and scheduling limitations, we're not going to be able to come to your camp right now. But really, thank you again for the terrific offer. Paul, Paul, we're not going to be able to go to this guy's summer camp. I'm sorry. Paul, <laughs> we're not... We're not going to be able to... I'm sorry, what was that? We're not going to be able to go to the summer camp, Paul. I, I hope you're not too disappointed. Well, maybe we can do some camping around your place this summer. Good idea, Paul. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, the Today Show gets to go on a big cruise. They were on a cruise all week. We, do, we don't get to go anywhere. We don't even get to go out for lunch. This beanbag network. You know how much money they made last year? What was the question? I say, you know how much money this network made last year? Well, how much did they make? Three hundred thirty-three million. Holy cow! Yeah, and we don't we don't get to go anywhere. We get but to as go long nowhere. as Willard and Jane and Bryant get to take a little little cruise, <laughs> that's actually kind of a wimpy idea, anyway. When you think about it. A cruise? Yeah. Letter number two. Uh, dear Dave, I saw the show recently on which Charles Grodin appeared. He was a pompous little jerk. <laughs> And you were right, he does whine. If I were you, I would have leaned over during a commercial break and given him a sharp rap on the head. <laughs> You'd be surprised what it can do for attitude adjustment. Sincerely, <laughs> sincerely, Norma Jean Wharton, Portales, New Mexico. Uh, Gee, Norma, this is a great suggestion. You know, uh, when I got the letter, we decided to give it a try, and I used it a couple of nights ago when uh, the lovely actress Molly Ringwald was on our show. Hal, uh, roll the videotape of that, will you? Me and Molly Ringwald there. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. So do you, do you like doing movies all the time? M must be kind of tiring, right? <laughs> Are those your own shoes? <laughs> so which do you prefer, those uh, crinkle cuts or the, the really big steak fries? <laughs> Damn it, Molly, you're going to have to talk. I can't do this by myself. Come on. Come on, Molly, just say something, anything. Will you talk to me? Oh, gee, come on. <laughs> just a joke. It's only a joke. She was a lovely guest. We're only joking. Just a joke. Yeah, Molly Ringwald was a very nice young woman. Uh, where are we here? Letter number three, I guess. Is that right? Yes, sir. Uh, Dear Dave, letter number three begins, How do you pick... A delicate flower. <clears throat> this comes to us from Carl Johnson, New Milford, Connecticut. <clears throat> How do you pick a delicate flower? Carefully and with great care. <laughs> Lift it gently with your hands so it may linger there. Soft, warm breezes lightly blow. Clouds roll by the hour. Carefully carefully gentle friends is how you pick a flower <laughs> ladies and gentlemen uh, it's nbc chairman of the board mr grant tinker grant come on out here Grant, nice to see you. Thank you, Tom. That was fantastic. <laughs> that poem about flowers was beautiful. Just beautiful. And the people at Humanitas International think so, too. Oh, is that right? Here's another award for oh, you. Oh, my gosh, look, another award from the folks at the Humanitas uh, Committee. That's just unbelievable. Thank you, Grant. All I can say is you made an old man remember what it means to be well, happy. That's good. <laughs> Wonderfully alive in a beautiful world. Oh, well, thank you. By the way, folks, be sure and catch the tomorrow. Today show tomorrow morning. Uh -huh. Brian, Jane, and Willard are still on that cruise ship, and their scheduled guest is Margot Hemingway. Uh -huh. mm, boy, what a baby. Okay, all right, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you down at Hurley's, Grant. Take care.
that it? <laughs> oh, it's a magic night, isn't it, Paul? Grant Tinker. It? You know, Grant's leaving soon. Maybe where is he going? Yeah, I'm not sure where he's going. I'm sorry to hear that. Letter number four. We've got to get right to it. We have a huge show. Almost too good for this network. <laughs> These pinheads. Oh. Um, letter number four. Dear Dave, as long as we've been watching your show, we've been accustomed to five pieces of your mail. On May 1st, 1986, you only showed four. What happened to that fifth letter? Did Paul accidentally pick it, uh, pack it in his luggage for his trip to Vancouver that day? Uh, Paul was going off to visit the royal couple in Vancouver. Uh, anyway, whatever the case is, this letter lost forever. Jim Anderson and Leo Ducharme, or Ducharme, or whatever. I'm sorry, uh, Leo. Uh, anyway, it comes from Durham, Massachusetts. I'm sorry, <laughs> Durham, New Hampshire. <laughs> well, we're close on most of these. Uh, you know, this is a very good uh, question, uh, Jim and Leo. Sometimes we'll actually uh, tape five letters for broadcast, but you at home won't get to see all of them. Uh, for an explanation of, of why this sometimes happens, take a look now at this short film prepared by NBC in conjunction with the National Security Agency. I think you'll find it interesting. Here at NBC, occasionally even the most professional performer can divulge a secret that could potentially harm our national security. Letter number five. Dear Dave, I am an American flyer, and next week we will be launching a surprise attack against Libya. Do you have any advice as to what I should wear? Sincerely, Instantly, Captain a military Carol sensor in the control room defense. alerts the proper authorities. Mr. President, we have a situation here, sir. Yes, sir, I'm initiating a condition three. Throughout NBC, the Crisis Strike Force mobilizes for immediate action. The, the videotape is rushed to a high-security editing facility where the sensitive material is removed and destroyed. Then, all civilians who attended the taping are located and visited by government representatives who carefully explain the situation and ask for their assistance until the crisis has passed. Finally, the seamlessly edited videotape is broadcast to a grateful public with no one the wiser. Okay. Letter number five. Dear Dave, I am an... <laughs> NBC, keeping America entertained and free. Okay. Remember, it's bail bondsman night here, and also share. We'll do a commercial. We'll be right back. Thank you.